Approximately three years ago, a new method to contact spirits was conceived within the walls of the Stanley Hotel. It was called the Estes Method, named after the Colorado town where it was developed. This method entails isolating the noise from a spirit box and feeding it into a person aptly named a receiver. In order to mitigate the tainting of the results, the receiver is then blindfolded, they put on noise isolating headphones, and are thus removed from the quote group bias, which comes from the spirit box use. Once that is done, a willing operator will ask the spirits questions. Tonight, we will be performing our first attempt at the Estes method. It is said you shouldn't be surprised if you receive nonsense at first because there appears to be a sort of warm-up period before spirits and other entities learn how to use this method. We will begin the process by asking the entities to put thoughts, ideas, or phrases into my head when giving their response. Remember, if you want to believe, be sure to hit subscribe. All right, let's get into this. AJ. AJ. No. Okay, if there is anybody nearby. So uncomfortable on my face. <clears throat> that does not have any intentions. Come communicate with me. Via the spirit box or AJ's thoughts. You may not have anyone. You may not have any ill intentions. If you wish to speak with me. Is there anybody that wants to communicate? Is anybody here? Say your name. So AJ to relax. He asked me. He asked you what?
here. Here. Yes, you hear. Do you have anything else to say? Turn the light. Turn on the light? What end? Is there anybody actually speaking? Wanting to speak. Is there anybody wanting to speak? with me right now? Does anybody want to communicate with me? Don't be pumpy. Is there anybody here? Communicating? Thank you. It doesn't correlate. Say my name. Who? Me. Say my name. My name is Chris. Father, he's everything. Are you religious? Are you religious? Playing for you. What are you playing? He's like... Above us. There is a light above me. I guess I can make that a correlation. Used to be. Oh, there you are. Who? Good enough. Yes. Nice. 
What? Has the word. What? Classmate. What classmate? Are you male or female? What's your favorite color? All that you could say. Do you have any pets? Did you ever have any pets? I was alone. Hold on. <clears throat> hmm. I have to go real quick. In the middle of the session? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Kitty was on the counter. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. Brett's okay. major, come here. Major. Major. <sighs> it's intense. Is it? Yeah. Tell me about it. Um. Well, let's take a break. Okay. I'm gonna take a break. Take your blindfold off. Yeah. Going into it, it's just like kind of normal, you know, because of uh, the spirit box, so it's very familiar as far as that's concerned. But then after a while, I just got kind of consumed by it. But my heart started beating faster. I saw you start breathing more intensely. Yeah. And no, get down, please. Rock. Sit down, please. In the middle of our. <laughs> Go lay down. I think. Um, Go to bed. So I decided to take a few minutes to kind of be human again. I mean, I was only doing the session for a little over 10 minutes the first time. And I kind of welcomed the break when Chris had to go upstairs to take care of the cat that decided to get up on the counter. But it was just really overwhelming. I was definitely desensitized. I couldn't see. I couldn't hear anything else around me other than the S-Box. So I was feeling a little bit disoriented. Not too bad. I definitely had a lot of issues with my breathing and uh, my heart rate beating super fast. So I decided to take a moment kind of pull myself together and remind myself when I went back in to make sure I was breathing properly. So we'll get into the second part now. Let me get this set up again. That way. I'm also learning how this works too and trying to be more receptive. So I'm sure that has. I'm trying to breathe. It's intense, like I said. Okay. Um. Is it recording? No, not yet. I'll let you push it when I go to put it on my head. That way, we're not having a ton of blank stuff if I need to review it. Or we weren't doing anything. 
speaking with who am I speaking with this is Grams I'm Chris I be Troy DJ she can hear me say say what Do you approve? Uh, fire? Or fire? Can't argue with that. Hello. Hello. Do you approve of AJ being with me? If you are Grams or Sally? Are you in fact Grams? After a year? Come find me. Every time we have. Okay, back to the point. Are you Grams? Or Sally? I'm looking for the grams of Maybe. A AJ. So more satisfactory. Open. Open the door. To the big. You. No. Is there anybody here? Hundreds. There are hundreds here. Is that what you're saying? Food. I love them. Anybody want to communicate? Can't reach. Can't reach. Keeping. I get that. Keeping what? Keeping trying? Keeping, you gonna keep trying? You. Me. Are you trying to contact me? Keep trying. Not. Um. Give me a number. Take. Um. Give me a color. Stronger. Mm, that's not a color. Think it. Okay, I'll think it. Listen. 
I'll say it too. Listen to this. Instead of listen. Listen. To that. Open. Up. AJ, yeah, how was that for you? It was pretty intense. Um, I mean, aside from the fact that I can't see and I really can't like traditionally hear, all I hear is a bunch of uh, spirit box in my ear. It was um, kind of isolating, but at the same time, I did not feel alone. Like there was not one moment where I was just like, "This is super annoying." I'm alone in the dark, you know. I felt like there was just always something around me, but when I... I mean, you had us. Right, but it didn't feel like your energy. Mm. Does that make sense? I don't know, it was different. When I first did it, you know, the first portion, our little test run it, if you will, like my heart was seriously palpitating so I know, hard. I it saw was, you. It was like going to come out of my chest or something. I saw you having a hard time breathing. Yeah. I definitely had to remember that going back in the second and third time. Yeah. <sighs> to take moments to kind of bring my breath back down and stuff. Because I felt like a heavy weight on my chest. Heart palpitations was getting higher. Was kind of forgetting to breathe occasionally. Um, I know it's kind of intense on making sure I heard everything, but filtering out radio chatter, you know, because um, there's a lot of radio chatter. So it was kind of intense going through all that stuff. So what do you feel like some of the messages you got came from? Honestly, you, you were saying a lot of random stuff. Yeah, um, I don't know if like at this point in the game, since this is my first time doing it, I don't know if I can just like pinpoint like this is who I was talking to. Does that make sense? No, I'm not asking you who you were talking to. Where did the answers come from? Like, did you get them from the S box mm. when it sounded like it said something? Right. You say it, or right. did you just get these thoughts and I just blur them out? Um, so. I would say probably about 75% was like clear through the S box. But then the other like 20%, it was just like I was hearing it. It wasn't really in the S box, kind of in the S box, but it wasn't like clear words. It's just, I don't know. I guess I kind of saw it more than I heard it. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I actually like saw words, and so I just. So, like, you would see words written out, or like typed or yeah. scripted in some way? Yeah, I guess, you know, nowadays everything's digital, so I was seeing like typed out words, like the, the stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think of like one of the things that I said. There was just so much going on so fast, I don't know if I can remember, but. Um, so it was like 13 going up. 10 coming in or something like that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was one of them where it was like, I saw 13, and it was kind of like a diagram, 13 going up, and then like 10 coming in, I felt like coming in through a doorway. Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. I'm really interested to try this out some more. Did you get any like actual pictures? Like places or people's faces? Or? Um. 
objects? Kind of. The, I know there was one point where um, I kept getting like, listen, listen to this or something to that effect. And I kept feeling like, it wasn't like a clear, like a picture, like a photograph. It was like, I don't know how to describe it, like maybe like a faint image, like a ghostly image, if you will, of like faces coming in, or animated. Yeah. Like, like if you were like watching like an animated movie and like maybe they're trying to depict ghosts or something like that coming at your face real fast. That's kind of how it felt like. It was mm. like, listen, listen, like these faces just kind of like, yeah, yeah, mm. coming at my face. Uh, is there anything you've changed about it? Mm. Uh, what do you think you need more time practicing with it? <clears throat> I definitely need more time with it. I think that's true with anything. I feel like if you're trying to connect with a, a spirit or entity uh, or an intelligence, you're going to have to understand, like, learn to understand each other. Right. So it's not unlike going into a new culture where you don't know the language and you're trying to figure out how do we communicate. I feel like something like this, uh, or anything really spiritual, you're gonna have to kind of go through with repetition until you figure out how to communicate. In fact, it might be kind of interesting to go out to Hummel Park with this, because we've gone out there before. Ooh. So maybe Ooh. checking out Hummel Park and yeah. trying to communicate. Content upload now. <laughs> what did you enjoy the most? Um, that's a very good question. What did I enjoy the most? Hmm. I think once I got past the weirdness of just like blurting things out, I actually was kind of enjoying myself. I know that sounds weird. Like you're just enjoying blurting out words. Yeah, kind of. Um. Just trying to, I felt like I was a, I don't know what to call it, like a decipherer? Mm -hmm. Decipher? Yeah. I got to decipher things. Like a... To uh, decode. Yeah. I got to decode. I was a decoder. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how I felt doing it. So I think that was probably my favorite part about the experience. Once I got past the uh, unusual aspect of it. Right. 